there, uh, hikers. Um, I guess this is going to end up being a new series for me here, but it seems like on Fridays I'm going to be giving you some tips. So um, I'm just trying to fill in time. I'm trying to kill the, the days here. So this is, I'm going to show you another tip for carrying water that will take four pounds off your pack. Okay. Um, I showed you how I have my water bottle that I carry it over here. That straw deal, I should can it. That didn't work too well. Um, I'm, not, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to hang my water bottle here, the one liter bottle, but I'm not going to do the straw thing. I don't think. Uh, it just um, was um, just a little gimmick I thought I'd try. But this is a little something that I've done for the last, oh geez, six years. If you go back to all my videos and look at all my trips, probably all the way back five or six years, you're going to see how I carry my water on my poles. And uh, I do that for a couple of reasons. One mainly is it takes four pounds off my pack. You figure these are, these are little, just a little, un, these are a 750 liter bottle, so it's about 80% of a liter. So a liter is a two pounds, 2.2 pounds, something like that. So basically you're saving almost four pounds off your pack by carrying them on your poles. Now, yeah, I have a lot of people that stop me on the trail and they take photos of this and, uh, uh, and, 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 and a fair amount of them said that they were gonna, they were gonna try it. So, um, I personally have not seen anyone else doing it, but um, other than the four pounds it saves off your pack, um, it also keeps my upper body toned, uh, especially you know my 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 uh, my shoulder muscles here and my from my elbow up these arms. You're not you're not really carrying the water because when you walk, just the momentum. If this pole is in the ground, the momentum, you just pick it up an inch and the momentum swings it forward, you set it just like skiing. If you're a skier, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And the next one is just the momentum. There's, there's really no other than just lifting it that inch, but you figure if you're hiking six hours a day, every step you just lift it an inch, that's a nice slow workout for your upper body. Um, uh, that seems to be a problem with, uh, with people that are hiking is when they have to, they get into an area where they need to do a rock scramble, they're finding out, and I've seen this on a few videos, that they have no upper body strength. They've lost their upper body strength. Their, their legs and, you know, uh, their lower body is really tuned and toned. But the upper body, if you're a long distance hiker, you need you need to keep that upper body going, you know? Just by lifting your pack a couple of day a couple of times a day to put it on your back is not gonna keep you toned. So this is another reason I go with this route here, is um, you know, it, it keeps my upper body toned and uh, and I save weight. So let me show you how I did this. Um Basically, I used to do it with um, with the uh, bungee, with the little lock lines. Uh, I found it kept sliding a little bit. So what I did um, now is I put, I use Velcro. I put one Velcro at the bottom here, roughly where the bottom of uh, the bottle is going to be. And this is the soft, the soft. I use the hook part of the Velcro for my strap, all right? And then on my bottle, I run a strip going down, which is the fuzzy, the soft Velcro portion. It's the sticky back. You get it at every hardware store. You can get a roll of that stuff anywhere. So I run a strip coming down, and that, that's basically it. That's all that, that, I, that I use for the sticky portion. And then I get this Velcro that's got felt on one side and the hook and loop on the other. And you cut these though about 16 inches and you, you attach one right here at the bottom of your bottle. You give it a couple of inches overlap. 
Then you take the, uh, the bitter end here and you just wrap it right around and you try, you try to hook it. Actually, when I, when I do it, I put it, I push the bottle all the way up. So it's just touching this here um, uh, connector on my pole. Let me come back over here again and show you this. Then I run, then I run my first Velcro at the very end of the bottle. You just wrap it around and you just connect it on the Velcro. You keep tension on it uh, and you just, you just wrap it right around like this, okay? And then you do one in the middle and you do one at the top. Now with water in here, this Velcro that you put at the bottom, because the inside here is the hook and loop, and this is the uh, soft, when these two touch, they're gonna lock together. So when you put water in this bottle, this bottle's gonna slide down just a little bit until it hits this soft Velcro and now it's locked. It's not going anywhere. This thing, you can pound on rocks. This bottle is not going anywhere. So this is, this is my little, um, this is what I've been doing, again, for the last five plus years. Um, it works out great. Now, when you have to, um, let's say you got a long road walk, you got, you know, you got a four mile road walk. I carry a couple of these aqua clips right here. They, they, I don't even, they just about either, singly, they probably are a quarter of an ounce. It's super light. I carry two of these in my pack. So you, let's say you got a road walk and you, you just, you know, road walks, I hate using my trekking poles. I'd rather just stack them, put them, put them on my pack and just walk. What you do here, when you got a road walk, is you take, take, take the Velcro off. Super easy, all right? Bottle is now off. You can either, you can either just take the Velcros and um, take them off and put them in your pack or you can just wrap them right around your bottle like this, because they're not going anywhere. They're locked in by this here Velcro here. Wrap that right around. Put your aqua clip on here. Now you can hang your bottle anywhere on your pack. And that, that allows you now to pack your poles in your pack or wherever, wherever you want to put them. So uh, again, these are, these are my Lecky carbon fiber poles. Uh, this is probably my fourth year. This is my second pair. I just got this one for this, for this. I, have, I, I just got a new pair for this trip. The other ones were three something years old and, uh, and they were aluminum. I want to go with the carbon, they're much lighter too. Um, so anyway, these are my poles. Um, and then you have the bottle here that you can uh, put away somewhere else when you get back into the off when you get off the road back into the trail very easy to uh, you just take the aqua clip off uh, I've tried using the aqua, aqua clips on my pole I used electrical tape and put it on there now it could have been that it was winter time uh, where was I I was on a trip we were oh I was doing the um, the foothills trail. I did a I did a through hike at the foothills trail, and it was kind of cold. It was uh, late. It was late in the season, and I kept snap. I snapped two of these. I mean, same thing. I had the Velcro. Actually, I was using the rubber the rubber uh, bungees at that point. I had three rubber bungees on here, but the bottle was mainly held by by the aqua clip, and they broke. So I don't recommend using the aqua clip on your pole. Maybe it's from the constant, you know, pounding, hitting rocks that in the weight of the water weak, weakened this area and it just snapped. So I don't, I came up with this other idea uh, a couple of years ago with the, uh, with the Velcro and this seems to work much, much better. So um, that is my water carry. That is uh, Friday's tip. Okay, any questions, uh, leave them at the bottom. And, um, oh, I wanted to tell you one more thing. Uh, if you're interested in how, how I vlog, how I document my trips, um, 
go to my videos and you probably have to go down oh probably 16 videos and you're going to come to a trip it's going to say the Pemi Loop uh, the Pemi Loop is a western loop in the White Mountains. Soon as you come down and you go into Franconia Notch, that's by Lincoln, Lincoln, the town of Lincoln in New Hampshire. That's after Musilock. You're going to come down, and you, that's basically where the White Start is at Franconia Notch. I did a, I did the Pemi Loop. If you want to see what you're going to be getting yourself into when you get into the Whites. It's a three-day trip that I took, and I documented the whole thing. Um, take a, t Go back, take a look at that. It's about an hour long, though. I used to run long videos. I'm trying to, my wife said, you got to get them shorter. So I'm trying to shorten them up now. So on this trip, they shouldn't run more than 20 minutes, 30 minutes maximum. But that particular trip was an hour. And that will show you what what you're going to be encountering when you hit the whites and 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 uh and, and the pemi loop is the beginning of it um it's beautiful i just i am so in love with the whites i really really like hiking up there and um i think you will too uh and this trip that you're going to be looking at the pemi loop trip it was the third week of August, and we already had temperatures going down to 39. So that's why in my earlier videos, I said, you know, when you get into August, you better start getting your winter gear back before you get, you know, probably by August 15th. You're gonna want you're gonna want to get your layers back and and your and your better down bags uh, because our temperatures I'm from New England so our temperatures not all the time but you're going to get little little a couple of days here and there where the temperatures will start to drop and they'll come back up you know the end of August and, and September are beautiful you're going to get you know you'll get 70 80 75 degree days but you will get a few nights sprinkled in there they're going to be low 40s and upper 30s so um uh, take a look at that video and that gives you an idea of how I vlog also my style of vlogging and It might be something you like if it's nothing you don't like and then just you know Delete me, you know, I think I think you'll like it though. I mean, I, I uh, Again, I do a lot of stealth camping. I'll show you how I find my spots um, and Because uh, I do not I do not I do not camp with the crowds I just I'm not antisocial. I just I just I just don't like dealing with the with with a flock of people. Three or four tents here and there, fine. But when you get into a dozen tents and you get into all these designated camping areas where you got thirty tents, it's just a, I don't I don't like that. So anyway, that will, I will I will get into once I get into the trip. I will show you how I look for my stealth sites that are, are well off the trail and uh, and I leave no trace. You will never find where I camp. When I, when I leave my stealth site, you would never know that I was even there. Um, so um, you, you might learn something or I'll give you some tips, I guess, uh, by watching that video and then following me along on this trip. Okay, that was a little, that was a little uh, spiel, I guess, for you. Um, okay, that's it. Just a short video of my Friday, my Friday tip for you. Um, by the time you see this one, I think I'm going to be somewhere around 30 days, 35 days. I'm not sure when this is going to come out, I'll, but it's going to be. I'm only going to be a few weeks away from uh, from starting down there at Springer. Um, so, okay, hike safe, leave no trace, whatever you take in, please take it out. Oh, that irks me. I get so pissed off when I see garbage around a fire ring and it's just no, there's just no need. There's just no need. Um, if you carried it in, it's, it's probably going to be even lighter when you carry it out because the container and the bags will be empty. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be carrying stuff out, okay? All right, folks, that's it. Out. See you later.